Uh, we're going to pray in a moment, but we're going to tell you this. Uh, we made a, an executive decision yesterday on the Feast of St. Joseph. We've been praying about it, discerning it. Uh, you know, we have this nor'easter. Actually, they say two nor'easters, right, that are coming together. One is, it's a little, like I said, they, they, they said it was uh, sleeting out. I, I've not been outside, but um, but then tomorrow, Wednesday, March 21st, there's supposed to be uh, significant accumulating snow. And uh, we just didn't want to take the chance of starting our Radiothon and having to stop it <laughs> and not having be, people to be able to come in and put people in, in danger and driving and things. So what we decided to do was this. We are moving our Radiothon from this week. Uh, for, we're going to postpone it for two weeks, and we're going to have it on April 4th, 5th, and 6th. And you know what? That's the glory of Easter. It's Easter week. So April 4th, 5th, and 6th, that's uh, a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and uh, Gabriella and Amy were notifying all of our volunteers today. And the great thing is they're all saying, no, no problem. We'll be there. We'll still be there. We're gonna... So if if you uh, are uh, we're going to uh, looking forward to, as we were, uh, having our Radiothon this week, just to show a little patience, we're going to move it back uh, just two weeks uh, into April so that we can be sure and hoping, anyway, that the weather cooperates and we can have a successful event. And we felt it was very providential. You know, we placed our Radiothon under the patronage of Good St. Joseph for 30 days. We've been praying this beautiful novena prayer in our chapel here at the Apostolate. And it was last night. We were up at St. Magdalene's, if you were listening. Uh, we did Monday Live from St. Magdalene's and then did uh, broadcast the Holy Sacrifice at the Mass for the Feast of St. Joseph at 7 o'clock up in Flemington. And I was really worried about it the night before as I started looking at the forecast and, oh, man, this is going to really throw a wrench in everything. And I was tossing and turning the night before. But a great peace came over us last night. We were with Bruce, Tobacco, and Cheryl was there, and Amy and Gabriella, and uh, for the for the pro, uh, program and also the broadcasting of the Mass for St. Joseph. And I really believe St. Joseph has led us into this new direction. Um, we chose those dates, the 21st, 22nd, 23rd of March. Uh, but for whatever reason, God wants it April 4th, 5th, and 6th. That's Easter Wednesday, Easter Thursday, Easter Friday. And so we're going to rejoice that week in the risen Christ uh, because every one of those days is an Easter day. And... Uh, we're going to invite you to participate. So be patient. Please spread the word. If you're not going to be able to be with us, you know, some maybe some people plan vacations or something. Um, I'll just ask you, please, if you're going to if you're going to participate with us this week and you, you, you can't be with us in the first week in April, won't you please still uh, send your donations to us? It's our major fundraiser of the year. We didn't really want to put it in jeopardy. Uh, and that's why we decided to make the change. So. Um, but we count on you, your generosity. If we don't have you and your generosity uh, during our Radiothon, it really puts the apostolate in a very precarious situation. So please pray about that. And uh, as I said, we will have the Radiothon 2018 Spring Radiothon on April 4th, 5th, and 6th. That's two weeks from tomorrow, and uh, we're looking forward to that. So um, thank you for all that you do for us and for your generosity. Okay, let's go to our prayer. And, you know, I think we'll 